Mark Cook, and I am super excited that you have joined us this morning on the Radio Vision Network because I have a South Jersey institution in the studio with me this morning. Let's say good morning to Jennifer Wilson, cake designer at Gallows Bakery. Good Thanks. morning and welcome, Jennifer. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Thanks so much. You're quite welcome. So Gallows. Everybody knows Gallows Everybody Bakery. Everybody knows Gallows. You guys are great. You've got locations all around South Jersey. There's one in Marlton. There's one in Cherry Hill. There's one in Mount Laurel. And the one in Mount Laurel holds a special place in my heart because I grew up right around the corner from it. Yeah. And every Sunday, Mom and Dad would take me and brother and sis over to Gallows and and we'd get one donut, and we would get that donut right there specifically, which is the cream-filled. Man, they are the best. Yeah, we are known for our cream donuts, and all of our donuts, actually. Our bakers are in at like 2 in the morning. They're frying the donuts fresh every morning. You can smell it as soon as you pull up. When I pull up to work at like 4.30 in the morning, it's all I smell is the fresh donuts. I mean, they're made, filled, and put right out in the store, so you, you can't get any fresh And that is quite the way to wake up, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of people wake up to that horrible alarm noise, and then they're, they sludge down a terrible cup of coffee. You get to wake up to the wonderful smell of fresh donuts every morning. That is, that is awesome, and it's so exciting because, I mean, Gallows has really grown and expanded over the years, and you've been a, a big part of that. You know, we should talk about Jennifer is the top cake designer over at Gallows, and she handles all of the design needs, which is a pretty big undertaking. It is, yeah. Right now we're in the middle of wedding season, so we've got, you know, 15, 20 wedding cakes a weekend, plus all the custom birthday cakes, and, you know, with the different cake shows on TV, it's everybody wants a special custom cake, right. so, you know, all year round we're doing crazy five-tier cakes, you know, for first birthdays, so it's it's a fun time. It yeah, really it's is. fun, right? Yeah. I mean, being busy and, and being creative, and look, you're an artist. That's, let's just be honest and let's call it what it is. You're an artist. <laughs> and being able to create and design and do all these different cakes, this is, this is exciting. This is what you live for. I mean, she off the air, she said, you know, I'm doing my dream job now. Obviously, I'd love to be maybe in Hollywood or, <laughs> or somewhere else, but this is what I get up and I live to do every day is, is to put people's visions kind of into an edible treat. It it's is. pretty cool. Yeah, it is awesome. You know, the hours aren't so great. I'm up early every morning, so I go into work with bags under my eyes, whatever. But then when I get there and I get to look at the orders in front of me and, you know, it's somebody's first birthday or their fifth birthday. And I think to myself, you know, this is going to be the cake that they're serving to their friends right. and their family, you know, and they want, you know, a cute little picture of a dog or whatever it is that they want on their cake. It's so exciting to know that like I'm part of that family Absolutely. for you know, 10 minutes at least. Yeah, no, yeah. you're actually a bigger part of that because you don't get actually to see the way the guests interact with no. your cake, right? No. So they get, all of the hosts get to absorb all of those compliments. Oh my gosh, the cake looks great. And you should pop, you should maybe hang out at one and be like, thanks. That was me, right? But <laughs> but I know that your clients are so great about sending you the, the kudos. They let you oh, know. Yeah. Yeah. Look, thanks for the cake. You made my event so special and so great because of your hard work. Yep. And, and that's the rewarding part of, of what you get to do. Look, a lot of people make cakes. A lot of people make pastries, donuts, cupcakes, all that stuff. But when you can set yourself apart by, by having a little bit more care and special and all of those things added to it, it really creates a really special environment. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm very lucky to be doing what I feel like I'm called to do. You know, people come in, they, they pick up their cakes and they put a little tip in the tip jar for the girls. I'm just saying, you can leave a tip for the cake decorator too, because nobody <laughs> ever leaves a tip for the cake decorator. I, you know what? This is a dynamic. We need to change. We should start. I think we should. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, listen, the, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? So you tip the cake decorator. You dec ah, the cake decorator. That's easy for say. me. That's easy for me to say. Uh, but you, you you grease them a little bit. Give them a couple yeah. extra bucks. You might end up with an extra flower. Everybody extra... tips the driver who delivers their cake. Me. I'm always left out. Yeah, right? Mm. This is crazy. But you know what? You're, <laughs> you get to experience the uh, the back end of this crazy dynamic where everyone realized that our regular old cakes weren't going to cut it anymore. We, we, we've, in the last 15 years or so, 10 to 15 years, this thing of making cakes into crazy creations has taken off. Were you, how did you 
you were a part of that, right? So you've yes. been you've been at Gallows on and off for 15 years. Yes. You've had your own place. You've been a part of this renaissance and resurgence of, of kind of the, the dynamic changing in cake designing. Yeah, when I first started out, it was literally like the old school Italian way of like some drapes, and with the flowers and the fountains and the columns and that was like what everybody got we would do like 20 of those a weekend and then slowly as like the cake shows started coming on tv um and you saw these crazy creations people would come in and they'd be like um i want a urinal i swear people and i had to make a urinal cake you know so i mean if somebody wanted a a sheep um a grim reaper the grim sheeper and i said what is a grim sheeper? What is a grim sheeper? <laughs> so I, you had to come up with it. People just come up with the weirdest things, but it's so much fun because yeah. you're not just making the same thing over and over again. You, you're doing something that allows you to be creative. And when a customer comes in and they're like, just use your imagination. When they're not nitpicky oh, and they're not the like, best. it must be a quarter inch from the bottom. You know, right. when they say, just do what you do because you do it the best and you know, that's the best time for me. Yeah, because then that gives you full freedom to create, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and to express your art i'm gonna say it over and over again because i truly <laughs> believe that what you do with your hands for the cakes is a vision of what your artist mind and your creative is putting out right so i give it a little bit more weight and i give it a little bit more importance i think than maybe some other people would and maybe you should think about it a little bit differently right that that's what i'm talking about is that you have to look for things in life that maybe you didn't expect to realize how creative and how artistic a cake designer needs to be. Yeah, I mean, challenge me. Come in and say, listen, I want a Grim Sheep or I want a urinal, right. you know, I want something that's different. Challenge me and I, I'll, I guarantee you, you're going to be super surprised and love the product and that you happy. get. And yeah, happy, yeah, that's the, that's the main thing. Um, I, we, we're up against a break, but I want to talk about your background real quick. Cool, okay. Because that, you know, I keep saying artist, and I keep saying creative, and I keep saying best, and I keep saying all these things. Well, how did you get here? How did you get to this to be into this uh, into this position? Well, I never knew that I wanted to be a cake decorator. This wasn't in my plan when I was younger. I got a job at a bakery when I was like 15 um, at the old classic cake company in Cherry Hill. Yeah. I was a store girl, and I just sold you know cakes. It was just behind the counter, and I learned to write on a cake and one of the guys in the back taught me how to make a flower on a flower nail and I was just able to do it like just flat out natural able to ability yeah and he was like wow you know usually people can't get it on the first right. try um and so I was like wow this is pretty neat you know and they kind of they brought me to the back and they let me do some things and I just had a natural ability to do it and I'm like you know what I'm gonna follow this this is what I'm gonna do and I started working you know, for them, for Classic Cake, and they gave me a little bit of more of a chance to kind of do some different things, and then I went to culinary school at um, Atlantic Cape uh, Community College, okay. the, the culinary school down there, um, which was, it was good to go there, but my personal belief is that you need hands-on experience. Right, the experience Culinary is... school is going to teach you why eggs and why sugar work. Right. But really you need some end. of that technical background yeah. but the experience is really what is going to yeah. allow you to flourish with your knowledge and all of that stuff so it's such it's it's such a cool story to know that you know look i never really wanted to do it but i was naturally good at it yeah and you have to encourage those things when you're naturally good at them yeah. it's so cool so i do we i do have to take the break okay. now all right so stick around. I'm talking to one of the top cake designers in, in the Delaware Valley from Gallows Bakery. we got to take a quick break, but we'll be right back on Morning Coffee. Stick around. Simply Gents, located in Marlton, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facials, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, Visit us online at www.simplygents.com. The secret weapon of a well-groomed man, Simply Gents. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? 
Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717, extension 203. When you think of RV, think Alicia Kelly. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra Innings, where the game never ends. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Welcome back to Morning Coffee. I am Mark Cook. Thank you for joining us on the Radio Vision Network. And I am still talking to Jennifer Wilson, who is the cake designer, decorator for Gallows Bakery here in South Jersey with three locations, one at Cherry Hill, one at Mount Laurel, one at Marlton. All right, Jennifer. So we were talking before about all different kinds of crazy cakes. We've talked about your background a little bit. Well, I want to talk about something that happened that was super awesome for you and for the bakery and for the Food Network. And that's when you were on Sweet Genius. Yeah, that was really exciting. I went for an audition for uh, in New York for Sweet Genius, and uh, I got chosen. And it was really neat. The Food Network was awesome to me. They were super nice. Uh, it was really a, a great, fun experience, and it was all true to life. It wasn't fake at all. You know, nothing well, that's was cool. that's good to know. Yeah, that... I know that some shows may be like that, but that specifically this one, I know, um, it just wasn't like that. It was real life that's cool because i'm not familiar i'm not as familiar with sweet genius as i am some of the other ones like the mm -hmm. cupcake wars and and some of those so what was the dynamic on sweet genius like what did you have what did you have to do so there was three competitors uh, actually there was four competitors and um we all had to make uh whatever he told us to make in that round it was using some kind of inspiration and uh like my inspiration was like a ballerina that came out. They have a big conveyor belt and they send things out that you have to incorporate into your dessert. So, uh, and then they throw in like a, like a twist. Um, so they threw in like an uh, artichoke at the end and you had to incorporate an artichoke. <laughs> I mean, can you make that uh, like, like the garnish or something? Because you can, but they want like the flavor. I think I made like an artichoke ganache. Or I don't something. want artichoke flavored dessert. Nobody does. Right? What well, yeah. kind of crazy stuff is that? that that's does. ridiculous. <laughs> so when they tell you like to make something, do they say like, all right, so this round you're making cupcakes. No, Next it's more like use this ballerina as an inspiration and make whatever you want. So oh, everybody okay. made something different. Um, I don't even, I think I made a, uh, like, cream puffs filled with, uh, I don't even remember at this point. But that's cool, though, <laughs> because you were able to use, like, your, yeah. your creative juices, yeah. like, okay, thanks for giving me the idea to use artichokes, yeah. but now I can do whatever I want with it. That makes it yeah. a little bit better, I guess. Yeah, because I was able to use my pastry background, you right. know, from culinary school, right. you know, instead of just a 
cake designer, you know, I got the opportunity to use, you know, things that I know, uh, like a classically trained pastry chef would use. Yeah, we, I mean, we and we talked a little bit about that, that, you know, experience in the kitchen and working with your hands and, and getting actual hands-on training is better than, than schooling, but, you know, culinary school does help to give you some of the foundation and the basics that... You know, like like any star athlete or, or musician or actor, or whatever, you need the basics and the foundations, you know, before you can really flourish. And that's that was a smart move that you made to to kind of just get that. I know you you probably hated going through it. I don't. Need... I knew everything when I. Yeah, well, well, that's because you had so much experience. But sometimes getting that piece of paper just kind of help, yeah. helps a little bit. So back to Sweet Genius because I'm I'm so intrigued. <laughs> So it comes down this conveyor belt, like chopped, they use the basket, right? Yeah, Where same kind of it's the concept. same yeah. it's the same concept. Yeah. So who were the uh like celebrity judges or hosts that were, were involved? There's one guy and it's Ron Ben Israel who uh is an amazing cake decorator. He owns a place in uh in New York. He's like you know, like the the top of like the wedding cake oh, field. Okay. Yeah, right. he's like a sugar artist. I mean, he makes sugar flowers that are just beautiful. I mean, every cake decorator aspires to be, you know, okay. him. Right. Yeah. Now, is he like a Gordon Ramsay type, or is he more like a Bobby Flay, nicer <laughs> kind of guy? No, he's very, like, mysterious kind oh, of, you okay. know, like, sort of like evil genius, like, make this for me <laughs> He's a Mr. Now. Burns, yes, yeah, <laughs> yes, <excellent>. exactly, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Make me something chocolate. <laughs> yeah, that is so funny. So, yeah. you know, one of the things, uh, you know, Keith Reynolds, uh, our, our, our boss and, and, and mentor over here, was talking about 4th of July, which is coming right up. Now, you guys make the red, white, and blue sprinkled cupcakes, right? Oh, yeah, of course, of course we can do anything like that, yeah. Yeah, people should definitely go get them because they're awesome. We have a couple... Uh, we uh, well, a couple. We have a few different things here. We have uh, we have some cannolis. We have some cookies. We have the donuts. But you know, these are the cupcakes that I'm talking about. This looks like a red velvet it cupcake. Is, yes. And then this is the chocolate. This is the vanilla. But they do, and I I like the vanilla ones. I like the vanilla ones with the vanilla icing with the red, white, and blue. Sometimes I'll stick a little American flag uh, toothpick in there. They're 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 so good to have at your barbecue or your party or whatever. They're so much better from Gallows than they are from any of like the supermarket type places or the ones that you see that are already like prepackaged that you just grab. You, it's worth it. There's enough locations that you can get to a Gallows easily and get the cupcakes that you want for 4th of July that your guests are really gonna enjoy. Yeah, so uh, I mean, we have bakers who come in every morning. Nothing is frozen like I mean not that I'm knocking supermarkets but they do what they do right. they bring in frozen product we bake fresh every morning our buttercream is made fresh you know so it's yeah. not sitting there for a week yeah you know and you can taste yeah. it and that's and, and that's the reason why gallows has been around for so long and been successful for so long yeah. when you do things right when you offer a quality product for a good price it just makes sense and the community uh, around here really responded to gallows this is a very competitive bakery market. You you know it more than I know it, mm -hmm. but we are very loyal to our bakeries yeah. here in South Jersey. Yep. So I guess I was lucky that I grew up around a corner from a gallows, right? <laughs> oh yeah. You're so I, I got my loyalty when I was very very young, and I yeah. and and the one I, I go to a lot is the one right on Church Road, uh, in that shopping center, the Church Road shopping center. There's near uh, F and M Deli. There's an ice cream place there. There's a the hair salon. And right at the corner, they're right at the end of the shopping center is Gallows. Make sure you go and check them out there. <laughs> they're always so nice in there. That's the other thing. It's almost like we're going to be so nice while we give you these great cookies. <laughs> it's like, man, if this was any other dynamic or any other walk of life, like it would be illegal or something, right? <laughs> like it's too good. How do you guys do that? It's 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 such a process, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, we all love what we do. It's you know, it's not just one person that is successful. You know, makes the bakery successful. You know, we have the bakers who bake fresh, and but they love what they're doing. You know, we have me who decorates, and then we put it out in the store, and we have the store girls who sell it. But everybody loves what they do, and I think that that is what you know makes the place successful. Yeah, it resonates yeah. with everybody because when when you put a family name on a business like Gallows and and, and a bakery like Gallows, that family name represents more than just the name of a bakery. And that's what they've created there. It's a family dynamic. Uh, I, Jennifer wouldn't have been there for as long as she has if it wasn't that great of an environment, right? To yeah. the point where you left and came back. 
I did. I left because I wanted to try out, you know, owning my own business, and I tried it out, and I wasn't, you know, it wasn't for me. Well, say it, it didn't work out quite the way you envisioned it, but Gallows welcomed you back yeah. with open arms and kind of gave you a little bit of support when you needed it because that was a tough transitional time. And, and look, I'm going to give Jennifer a little bit of credit here. She tried to do that in the toughest economic situation that our country has been in in the last, you know, 20, 25, 30 years. So I wouldn't look at it as any sort of negative. It was something no. that you needed to try. Yeah, but just being a business owner wasn't for me. It made me uh, really lose the passion for cake decorating because I was too worried about running a business. Yeah, the other stuff. Yeah, right? and that's just not for me. That's yeah. not who I am. Well, and, and again, I, I go back to she said it off, off the air. This is her dream job. She gets to do her dream job. That's so exciting and so cool. And we want to support people that feel that way or think that way. So, Jennifer, i got to take another quick break. But we are going to come back. And we're going to send you down to Gallows. And you're going to get all sorts of great stuff. So stick around here on Morning Coffee. We will be right back on the Radio Vision Network. If you haven't been to Speed Raceway, what are you waiting for? You want to live fast? You want to make every second count? Then grab the family. Round up the guys. Speed Raceway is 100,000 square feet of excitement, whether you're a kid or a kid at heart. Speed Raceway is the place for endless fun all summer long. Log on to speedraceway.com or just get here now. Saving your business money is as easy as one, two, three. Tanker Consulting Services, a payment solutions expert, will show you how with a free, detailed, written analysis illustrating your cost savings. We usually uncover savings between 10 and 25% and sometimes more. We can help your business succeed by providing reliable and secure merchant payment solutions such as merchant services programs, point of sale systems, and ATM machines. TCS, one of the leaders in regional credit card processing consulting, offers electronic payments to merchants locally and nationwide through our preferred vendor programs. We work to keep business costs down with a comprehensive suite of quality products, services, and customized credit card processing programs exclusively tailored for your company. TCS is convenient, reliable, and innovative, with customer service available 24-7, 365 days a year. Our in-depth industry knowledge, partnership strategy, and innovative processing solutions allow for a specialized approach to providing merchant bank processing with 100% full fee disclosure. TCS is one-stop shopping for all your merchant services solutions. Our clients save money 100% of the time. Trust Tanker Consulting Services, the knowledgeable, professional, and friendly provider of secure payment services. We set the standard by which others are measured. Call now for a free written analysis, 609-922-0201. Welcome back to Morning Coffee. I am Mark Cook, and you are on the Radio Vision Network on Morning Coffee. And listen, that commercial break was so quick. I love it. But if you're interested in advertising, make sure you check out radiovisionnetwork.com. Click on the contact link, send us an email, and we'll get you all set up. It's affordable and effective, so do it. Uh, we're talking to Jennifer Wilson, who is the cake designer over at Gallows Bakery. And Jennifer, this has been awesome. I, I wish that I could talk about like sweet cakes and cupcakes and all this great <laughs> stuff all the time, right? This is such a great topic. Yeah. You get to live it. Yes, every day of my life, every waking <laughs> moment, I'm on like Pinterest looking up cakes and cupcakes. It's I have cupcake shoes. I'm not going to lie. I have cupcake pajamas and cupcake you know, other things. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. We'll leave that to the imagination, but this is so cool. You know, we've talked about, the, you know, I talk, I've talked about how I've loved the donuts since I was a kid, and we've talked about the cupcakes, and you guys do specialty cupcakes, you know, depending on the time of year. You guys make great cookies, like the traditional chocolate chips yep. are just great chocolate chip cookies. But what we wanted to talk about now were the Italian favorites, the cannolis. cannolis. You gotta get a good cannoli, right? Yes. So, yes. Here is one here, and I since I touched it, I'm gonna have to eat it. Gonna but have to, yeah. Let's talk about let's talk about this guy right here. Yeah. So we actually make all of our shells by hand. Every single shell is made by hand. We have burns on our hands to prove it. Mm. 
you have to cut out every single shell, then you have to glue it closed with um, a, a, a wooden stick in the middle, and then you have to deep fry it. And then while they're burning hot straight out of the fryer, you have to take that stick out. So our hands are always burned every Thursday is cannoli day. Well, I'm sorry that your hands are burned, but man, it's <laughs> worth it. It's so worth it. These we are so good. We hate cannoli day. It takes forever, but it's worth it in the end. <laughs> Absolutely. It's worth it when the people come in and they're like, oh my God, these are the best cannolis. They rival some of the top cannolis in South Philadelphia. I've, oh, yeah. had, I've had them all. These, these are so good. They're now, do you guys only make the minis, or do you guys do the full size? No, we do the, well? the large also, and yeah. then we, we can dip the ends in chocolate, and we powder sugar them. We do three different types of fillings. The traditional ricotta cheese with the chocolate chips. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what yep. I have. This is, it, it's phenomenal. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And we also do a ch uh, Italian chocolate custard and an Italian vanilla custard, which everything is made from scratch by hand. Um, it's all homemade, so. Keep going. It, I'm just going to keep talking about the cannolis. <laughs> No, they are, it's really, it's it's a customer favorite. They come in, they order dozens at a time. Every holiday, people so want good. a tray of cannolis. It's just what is traditionally served, you know, in people's homes. You know what? Tell me about that. I'm sorry, I'm a, what a mess. I probably should have had a napkin. I should have planned that out a little bit better. <laughs> Tell me about the holidays. What are the stores? What are, what are, what are the bakeries like on the holidays? Is it, we is it a, dread, well... In a way that we love the holidays, but we dread the holidays, too. Rewind, start, rewind. Yeah. <laughs> rewind. She loves the I holidays. I love the holidays. <laughs> if you've ever worked at a bakery, you know you love Christmas time. Mm. We start thinking about the holidays in, like, the end of the summer. We start saying, yeah. oh, Christmas is only four months away, you know, because yeah. we know that we're going to be making thousands of cannoli shells. Yeah. and thousands of cupcakes and Italian rum cakes and tiramisu's and we just know I mean we spend you know uh, 12 15 hour days just making just cakes and cakes and our shoulders and our hands are hurting by the end of the, the week it's crazy. I feel listen <laughs> I'm telling you I feel bad for you but what what comes out of it is so delicious and it's I was like I feel better just having that just having eaten that cannoli <laughs> now what didn't happen is that you, I didn't get really the compliment that I was expecting because I, I bit that cannoli in half and not one crumb fell off. That's pretty. <laughs> have you ever seen anybody be able to do that? Listen, I go by Mark Cook, but I am, an I am an Italian guy. All right, Jennifer? And speaking of that, family is huge. In, yeah. in my life, family is huge. So the Gallows Bakery family is a huge family, and that's... I want to talk about that dynamic a little bit because it's important. They are community. They are South Jersey. And when you go into any of the three locations, you're going to meet a gallo, an yep. actual family member. Yes. They're all over all three bakeries. So let's talk about that family dynamic a little bit. Yeah, so the owner, Tony Gallo, started the business about 30-something years ago. Um, his kids, uh, Jackie, Jen, and Tony, work for the bakery. Um, they each have different jobs. And, I mean, they all contribute to the bakery in different ways, and they're there every single day doing something different, uh, you know, uh, baking and decorating or, or running the store or delivery driving. Um, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, yeah. And, and that's a, that is the sign of great leadership and great ownership. They're willing to do whatever job yep. it takes to, to help make the business successful. We want to support Gallows because Gallows supports the community. I know they do a lot of charitable stuff. I know they sponsor teams. They do all sorts of great stuff in the community. So we need to support Gallows. And right now, Jennifer is going to look into camera three, and you are going to invite everyone to Gallows and just tell them whatever you want. Time is yours. Cool. So you definitely need to come to Gallows. Like I said, we've been there for over 30 years. We must be doing something right. We have three locations, one in Mount Laurel, one in Marlton, one in Cherry Hill. You can check us out on uh, Facebook, facebook.com slash uh, Gallows Bakery, Mount Laurel, Cherry Hill, or Marlton. And we also have a website, www.gallowsbakery.com. You can find all of our pictures of our cakes, of our products on there. You can find a menu. You can find pricing, anything you need to know. You can give us a call, 856 866 Two three three three. If you want to talk to me personally about a cake, I will sit there. I will talk to you. I'll have a consultation with you. Anything that you want, 
You want a cake in the shape of a goat? I'll make you a cake in the shape of a goat. You want cannolis? We'll make you cannolis. Fresh cookies, whatever you want. We're there for you. She's the top cake designer in <laughs> South Jersey and the Delaware Valley, Philadelphia area. Her name is Jennifer Wilson. She is from Gallows Bakery. Jennifer, thanks so much for coming in thanks this morning. Happy. I really I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. yeah. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Uh, how about a cupcake? Perfect. Love it. This has been <laughs> awesome this morning here on Morning Coffee. I want to thank you, everybody, for joining us. We really appreciate that, too. So, all I have to say now is have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow on Morning Coffee on the Radio Vision Network. Take care, everybody.